Alright guys, I have three very exciting matches to show you guys today. This is from the recent uh, Chinese tournament that happened. Actually yesterday, it's one of the... This happened at a university, I'm pretty sure. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the auto. And while the auto is running, I wanted to kind of say that there's a new one-on-one um, -on -one kind of coaching service that will be launching. And I'll let you guys know more about that uh, at a different date. But just be on the watch out for that. That'll be um, pretty cool. We'll be kind of pairing you guys up with kind of the the top, like, I don't know, robotics people in the world from last year, like A's, 360X, and even 2775V. And as the match uh, starts, though, we have we see a basketball. This one's kind of interesting. The basket at, at the very top. And you see a lot of human match loading on, on the blue alliance here starting the match off. They're going to utilize those match loads very well. Or kind of well on the on the left side here while this red alliance robot with the the basket at the top is doing a lot of work here playing a lot of defense uh kind of stopping the blue and wasting blues match loads you can see one of them bouncing back out the field there and catch and that match loader catching it uh it's kind of nice this this game is this game is definitely going to be pretty fun with how everyone in the team kind of has uh something to do right you have everyone can uh, you know can be doing something i noticed the blue block fell off the field there i think uh volunteers gonna go pick that up but you see a lot of defense being played by this red robot here and the other red team robot is kind of just uh, doing its job kind of filling these these uh these goals however they're not super fast so blue is actually able to pull ahead a lot here uh while this red this uh red basketball finally i think he might go to score now because he's got a full basket now or at least almost a full basket um no they're not gonna go to score their score mechanisms might be broken but you can see that um they're, they're lining up to score they're gonna outtake the the blocks back out of the basket i think so unless it's jammed uh, that happens a lot with these new uh, early season robots unfortunately that actually does push most of the blue blocks into the control zone which you know can actually which actually kind of like made it not as effective to score those red blocks there but if they go for another round on this left side tube they can definitely do a lot of work here i noticed that blue has pretty much control of both tubes this one might be tied but the other tube is definitely in blue's control there so um it's kind of to summarize this match here i feel like uh having one team having one teammate play defense is definitely very very valuable just like kind of in spin up how uh, after after a while, some of the the later matches, you have two teams quickly filling up the goals in auto, and then one team switching to defense after the match starts, and, and then kind of just securing the scoring elements while playing defense, right? So, uh, I mean, I, I Red played decent here. I, they were just not good at scoring. I think the defense here is pretty good. So I think you should have two bots, one playing defense, kind of just like collecting the the, the your team's blocks as you go. And then ready to score, or even hoarding the opponents if you want. And then the other teammate just you know trying to control those control zones and so so on. Moving on to our next match. Hopefully we have a slightly better view this time. This is the auto. As we start, these bots are a little bit a little bit wider, or sorry, a little bit thinner. You can see that these bots are much skinnier than the previous ones. It looked like all from the same organization though this one almost tipped <laughs> this one almost just tipped they just uh over centered themselves on that block let's see how how they're going to approach this match which with a uh, with the blue alliance being being wedged on top of of that block there looking at the starting position here definitely in favor of, of red <laughs> as one of the blue alliances needs to take some time early early on to kind of prepare themselves right and here they're able to get off just very fast and now red is gonna is gonna try or red is just gonna de play defense on this on this blue on this blue bot here i'm assuming they're pretty good and the blue another blue bot is gonna play defense on this red bot this red bot's gonna dash around right hitting a 180 there and quickly scoring three blocks in pretty pretty efficient scoring and good dodge however they don't see that blue is gonna go back and try to score again no they do i think that's pretty important is where after you're done with scoring, you want to kind of um, you want to kind of like notice that your your opponents can also score and kind of go defend that. And while we're while we're talking, the blue alliance down here has filled up an entire tube pretty much, which is kind of impressive. Yeah, they're they're kind of going ham on this on this bottom tube here, or on this on this left side tube, should I say? 
yeah, kind of just going crazy here and getting most of the, getting all the control zone and most of the stoop. So this one's, this match is definitely a lot more competitive than the previous one with, it's just one, two one-on-ones, which is kind of what you expect uh, a later season um, game would, or match would be in, in a lot of these types of games where there's there's a, just a lot of one-on-ones being played. And here you can see the blue lines, both of those blue line spots are putting in amazing amount of work here. So yeah, this is a, this is a very, very impressive second match here. Coming up, uh, looks like they've pistonized intake here, kind of going for multiple stages. This is the front to back here, going pretty pretty nuts on on both of these blue lines. And I don't think I don't see any any blocks really in here. Maybe like one or two blocks in the center here. Most of, most of the uh, robots are all going for these top ones. You can, as you can see, this red alliance ramming into the the right side long goal and then knocking a couple a couple blue blocks off. Other than that, this blue team I think is horde or no, that, that's a red team. Uh, I thought he was just hoarding the, the the left the left goal, but he's not. Anyways, um, as the match is about to conclude, I don't. Know, I think Blue might go for a park here. Yep, one of them hits the park, I think, and the other one is going to play some last second defense. As the Red Alliance also hits the park, so yeah, that's pretty pretty impressive. Very impressive second match here. Um, and now we're gonna move on to the third one. And as Auto Terminus begins for our third match, this one looks a little bit less, well, yeah, less competitive than the previous one. You can see that this drivetrain, we have a very in interesting drivetrain here. It looks like it's flipped over, but I don't think it's, I think it's just kind of a, a <laughs> like an inverted V-shaped drive. Very interesting. Let's see how, I'm going to place my bets on, on the red team here. Um, hopefully that's right. Maybe not if a blue team goes crazy here. Okay, you know it doesn't look like their match load mech is working. You can see that they're like trying to get in there, but it's uh, it's not really working. So I'll be placing my bets on red, and I think Ingward's gonna do a good job here, filling up this this left side goal, while blue is trying their best to get these match loads. But I think they're they don't have this properly hard stopped, right? Their, their match load mech is very poorly hard stopped where. Uh, it's kind of digging into the floor here, and they're not really able to get up or do anything. And both lenses are doing a fair okay job of of scoring here. I don't like how this red team is not playing any defense. Oh, okay, here we go. Any defense on that blue alliance for the longest time there. I think they should have been really shutting them down because they had free reign in the field for quite a long time there. Um, so, and also, it's also the, the, this red team who can be scoring should be contesting this this goal because, like. You're kind of just letting them have control over that, right? You could, you already have control over your goal, so why not go get control over over that goal, right? Because right now, how we how how I look at it is, if they come to score, if blue comes to score on both either sides, you're gonna have the center control zone anyways, right? Because all your blocks are in the middle already. So just run over and try to get those scores on the other on this goal, right? And I would score on the on this right side, because if you score on the right side, then you push the blocks in, and you push their blocks off, and your blocks go into the control zone. So. Right, there's quite quite a lot of strategy I think that's involved in this game here. But yeah, it looks like there's still a lot of defense being played on this blue robot, and I don't know where the other red robot went. It's, it's just gone. Did he flip over or something? Like he's like right here. I don't. I don't. He's like in this in this area, but just not moving. Oh, oh, oh okay. he parked. Okay, that's what happened. See, so this ro uh, re red robot went for an early park, and that's that concludes this match. Overall. Um, I'll be leaving this, the second match link in the description. I think it's a very impressive match. But yeah, that's uh, about it.